One of the most common conditions I see in my clinical practice is patients with herniated discs who are having shooting pain, numbness, tingling, radiating into the leg. This condition is called sciatica or lumbar radiculopathy. They both mean the same thing. Today I'm going to show you an interesting case of a patient with a herniated disc who was having exactly this problem. I'm going to review the patient's MRI with you and I'll show you what a herniated disc looks like, what a pinch nerve looks like, so you can understand why this causes radiating pain going down the leg. But before we take a look at the patient's MRI, I think it would be helpful if we take a look at a normal MRI for comparison. Here I'm numbering the two lowest bones of the back, the L4 and the L5. Between the bones is a soft cushion called the disc, which acts like a shock absorber. Behind the bones and the disc is a long tunnel called the spinal canal, which starts at the base of the skull and goes all the way into the tailbone. It is full of spinal fluid, which appears white on MRI. Inside the spinal canal, you can see these fine strings, which I'm outlining. Each one of these strings is a spinal nerve. In this MRI of the patient, you can see that a large piece of the disc between L4 and L5 bones has squeezed out of place and is causing severe narrowing of the spinal canal. This is what a herniated disc looks like. So next, let's take a look at this patient's MRI. On the left, you can see a side view of the spine. On the right is a cross-section view of the spine, as if you're looking up at the spine towards the head. We're going to start by looking at the disc between L3 and L4. This disc has a nice uniform border and it looks great. Just behind the disc is this triangular area, which is the spinal canal and cross section, full of spinal fluid, which appears white. The dots in the middle of the spinal fluid are the spinal nerves. Behind the spinal canal is this pointy looking bone called the spinous process. This is the bone that you feel under the skin when you feel the spine. Next, I've outlined the two joints, one on the right and the other on the left between the L3 and the L4 bones called the facet joints. Between the facet joints and the disc are two channels, one on the right and the other on the left called the foramen. You can think of the foramen like an exit ramp and at each level a nerve exits out of the spine through the foramen. Now as we keep going down the spine, you can see the beginning of the L5 nerves. I've marked the right L5 nerve in green and the left L5 nerve in red. Just to make things a little bit easier to understand, I will highlight the herniated disc in yellow so you can see how the left L5 nerve is pinched. As we work our way down, you can see that the left L5 nerve is being slightly pinched at this point. Moving further down the spine, the pinching of the left L5 nerve is a little bit more noticeable as it is being pushed against the hard facet joint. When you move a few millimeters further down the spine, here you can see that the left L5 nerve is being severely squeezed between the herniated disc and the facet joint. This is the point of maximum compression for the nerve. As you move further down, the left L5 nerve is no longer compressed and it gently curves around and exits the spine in the foramen between the L5 and the S1 vertebrae. So I hope it is a little bit easier for you to visualize what a herniated disc and a pinched nerve in the spine looks like. This patient underwent a very successful discectomy surgery and had an excellent, complete relief of symptoms. In my next video, I will show you step by step how I did this surgery. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. If you have any questions, please share in the comments below. I always enjoy hearing from my viewers. Thank you.